According to Ipsos polling conducted exclusively for Global News, 22% of Canadians say they are completely out of money, a three-point increase from October. More than half, 52%, are concerned they might not have enough money to feed their family. And 8 in 10 Canadians remain concerned that inflation will make everyday items less affordable. Well, we're here talking about affordabilities and we know that, you know, concerns about the economy have continued to be the most dominant uh, issue post pandemic. Rising inflation, of course, is, you know, at the heart of it and it continues to go uh, to grow in strength. It continues to chip away at the affordability of Canadians. And the latest poll that we've conducted a few days ago highlights the intensity of these struggles and financial anxieties that Canadians are facing. We started 2023 with, uh, to put it mildly, not so positive outlook for the year. And the situation pretty much remains bleak. The predictions for the upcoming year or how the situation will evolve, things, things are not looking up. As things stand, when we ask Canadians um, how they think inflation will impact them, as high as 81% feel that inflation will continue to make everyday things less affordable for them. And that's unchanged since last quarter. We know that housing, transport, food, these are the things that make up the bulk of an average uh, family's household expenditure. And when we look at all these three things, Canadians are very anxious. 68% are concerned that, you know, interest rates are rising quicker that they can adjust. The consecutive interest rate hikes have meant that people are just too occupied servicing their debt. And it will be the case for the time to come. Many have eaten away on their you know, saving reserves to, to just uh, foot the rising bills. And we see that 52% of Canadians are concerned that they might not be able to you know, feed their families, might not have enough money to put food on the table. Geographically speaking, I, I think, you know, Canadians are feeling the struggles from east to west. All the provinces are in the same ballpark. They are struggling together and there are very little differences that we see. Um, uh, you know, I, I would say the pretty that the struggle is pretty much consistent across provinces. The only few places where we see regional differences is that residents of Ontario and Quebec are more likely to be struggling to stay afloat when it comes to the ability to, you know, uh, be able to pay more for uh, rising household expenses. Um, more Canadians, uh, more Ontarians and Quebecers feel that, you know, they, they simply don't have any more capacity to pay more as compared to other provinces. Say British Columbia stands at 15% in comparison to 25% of Quebecers or Ontarians. And another group that I'd like to mention here is uh, women. The, the gender disparity is very, very clear here. Women feel the pinch much more so than men. And that's across the board, across the indicators that we measure. And just to give you one example, and this is bothersome to me, Every time I look at it, women are nearly twice as likely as men to say that uh, there is no way they can pay more for household expenses or household necessities, that they are completely tapped out. And of course, you know, there are several reasons driving this, be it the historical gender pay gap or the disproportionate impact of the pandemic layered on top of it. It is all very concerning and the gender impact or the gender disparity is very clear in the data.